you were playing it with him. This can happen. Catherine Palmer is good on her job as a detective, but these ongoing murders of women who are rich and are having marital problems with their husbands became a challenge for her. As she checks on the crime scene, she gets to ask questions on Vicky, the person who reported the incident. Catherine is so particular in asking questions to Vicky. She even asked Vicky to describe what Dorothy looked like when she found her lifeless body. You found Dorothy? Yes. So what she looks like? It could be visibly seen how Vicky is so devastated on what happened to Dorothy. Investigation has started as the other detectives considered looking for serial killer doing the murders. It was being known that a certain Dr. Dominic, a psychiatrist, has been meeting most of the victims as they seek advice on their marital problems. But this doctor actually taking advantage on his female clients as he seduces them and then make out during their sessions. It has been a challenge for Detective Palmer as she tries to connect the dots on the case. She even spent time searching on Dorothy's personal things. Then she finally found something that would help with the case. Palmer lives alone. She doesn't talk too much about her private life but still having a hard time forgetting what her late husband did when he cheated on her. Catherine gets to see Vicky again and that she wants to get more information about Dorothy. That's when Palmer knew that it was Dorothy who helped Vicky find a job. You don't remember a single relationship that she might have had of any significance. Come on, Vicky, there must have been someone in her life. There was one guy she was seeing. There we go. Detective Catherine also found photos of Dorothy engaging into a sadistic sex, and that's what she is focusing on. She then receives a call about a group of women doing that act, so she went to see the owner. That's when she knew there might be more than friendship between Vicky and Dorothy, as they looked into the security camera. Catherine confronts Vicky and convinces her to finally reveal what she knew. Vicky did not deny anything that Dorothy was her lover. It's the view from Terry Ross's front door. It means that I know you and Dorothy were lovers and partial to a little rough sex. Catherine now feels she has to protect Vicky since the other two women are now being murdered and Vicky knew them. Vicky reveals that she is with a group of women, same as Dorothy, where they gather in a secret place. Most women want to have sex without men since they are not satisfied with their husbands. There's a group of women who like to get together without men. And that's what Dorothy felt and that's why she had a relationship with Vicky. Palmer warns Vicky that she might be in danger, but she tells Catherine that she has been with this group ever since, and this is how she makes money. Doesn't this scare you just a little bit? I make a lot of money every year. This is my home. Catherine also wants to take hair samples on Vicky since she was Dorothy's lover. Palmer just wants to make sure Vicky has nothing to do with the murder. Catherine got a call from Vicky and tells her she regrets something. She was telling lies on things she told Palmer before. To make it up to her, she invites her to a party and that there will be people who will be joining that Catherine might consider as suspects. Palmer even tells Vicky she must act as if she is her date, and that makes Vicky smile. Palmer went to the place and Vicky greets her and even compliments her that she looks great. Vicky starts to ask personal questions to Catherine, and this made them feel comfortable with each other. As Vicky tries to introduce Catherine to other guests, she then holds her hand since they have to act as if they are a couple. 
That's when Catherine starts to feel like she is attracted to Vicky. As this attraction continues, Vicky took the chance to start touching Catherine. Vicky becomes so clingy towards Palmer when she gets a message and that she needs to leave. Yeah, thanks for a lovely evening. It's very enlightening. No, stay, stay. As they continue to investigate the case, Catherine follows Vicky without her knowledge. That's when she got another information that Vicky is into sexual acts with rich men and that she needs to do something for them. Catherine meets with Vicky again and this time around wants to clear things with her and that she needs to tell her everything she knew. I saw you with Gil Reynolds. I followed you to the Fillmore Hotel. I watched you do your little dance of death for him. They met in a bar when Palmer saw the woman her husband had an affair with. Then out of anger, she knocked her off. Catherine tells Vicky they can continue their conversation in her place. That's when Vicky reveals to Catherine she has to leave her family and that her own father abused her sexually and that she feels scared for her younger sister who's left with her family and that her brother is also abusing her sister. As their conversation continues, they both felt sexually attracted to each other. Then Vicky starts touching and kissing Catherine. As they start making out, Catherine suddenly comes to her senses that she has to stop it and tells Vicky she has to know what she's hiding from her. To talk. About what? I already told you. You want to know who I think killed Dorothy and Sandra? Or you want to know what it was like to fuck them? I want to know what you're hiding. It's another victim for Catherine to look into. This time around, she gets to know that the recent victims were Dr. Dominic's patients. So she decides to meet up with him and ask questions regarding his patients. After their conversation, it reveals that Dr. Dominic is a psychopath and he dresses like his mother. He was being abused when he was still a child and that his victims were his patients. The recent victim made Catherine so heartbroken when she finds a photo of Vicky inside the girl's purse and that's when she realized that Vicky is dead as well. Palmer also discovered that Vicky is actually a victim of that sadistic act made by Dorothy when she watched the recorded tapes. The last supposed to be victim of Dr. Dominic actually killed him when Catherine went to see his place. Then the woman shot Catherine but she was able to stop her. Catherine knew she has to do one more thing and that is to rescue Vicky's younger sister. So she went to see Vicky's family along with a social worker and they are able to rescue the girl. As they leave, Catherine remembers Vicky and that she knows this is what Vicky wants that her sister will be saved. Want more queer content? Then please subscribe and hit the notification bell.